I bring word from Emperor Kalos. The Vakari are on the move, and he believes an attack on Borath will happen soon. Your orders are to meet the Emperor in the Borath system. Assist him in his efforts to defend that sacred place. Do what needs to be done to defeat the Fakiri Horde. Borath cannot fall. Okay, yes sir, Chancellor. Kupla. Serve the Empire well. Kupla! Borath, we're in one corner of the map and Borath is more or less in the other side of the map. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get there. But uh, we're on our way. With the ship, uh, with the uh, being a low-ranking officer in the uh, Klingon Empire, uh, or the Imperial Defense Force, um, I don't have access to a whole variety of fast uh, uh, means of traveling. Um, but uh, we do have one cheat left to us, because as pretty as it is, I think we could do with just getting there a little bit faster. So if I click on here, I have the option to transwarp. I try not to fast travel, but we could take a lot of time just taking it up. Begin afterlife. When Caliph the un unforgettable left his empire, he pointed to a star and announced that he would one day return at that point of light. The Borough system is that star. Uh, and in tribute to the promise of Caliph, uh, the monastery there holds the re uh, revered order of Klingon, uh, Klingon monks who keep uh, uh, the memory of the promise alive. has begun. It is good that the Emperor is here, but even his flagship will not last long against that many enemies. We must join the battle at once. Battle stations, Helm, take us to the Emperor. is with the weapon systems let's just get in there a little bit faster Thank you. 
survived. Uh, we've been called... Emperor Kalish, we are honoured. Your return to Borif is quite timely. The Fikiri have beamed assault teams to the monastery. Your assistance in the defence effort would be most appreciated. Understood. We will beam down reinforcements at once. The monks have transmitted safe landing zone coordinates to us. We can beam down whenever you are ready. Well, let's go now, Captain Kagan. And down we go. My blood boils at the thought of Fakiri desecration. It must be avenged. They will pay for this with their lives. Indeed. Come, Tanavik awaits. He may have insight on the goals of the Fakiri. I would know the enemy's mind before I meet them in battle if I can. Knowledge, after all, is power. Emperor Kalush, Kabum! I have been expecting you. How do you know my name, Monk? We have never met. We know a great many things. Time is malleable here. We have seen this before. Our meeting was inevitable. Then you know what we need. Yes. You must travel with the Emperor to the Shrine of Kalos. The Fekinri seek to do the same. We believe they intend to conduct a foul ritual there. We must prevent that from happening. We will do what must be done for the Empire. Very well. Lead the way. We will stop the demons. Put an end to their desecration of this sacred place. Indeed. Make ready for battle. Ah. Thing that there is no such thing as friendly fire in this. The 
This is where the victory comes from. Right. Let's get in and do what we need to do. There! The shrine! And my blade! like we have to hold my blade once more ah it is a great victory indeed the jar did not complete his ritual offering but something is not right here we must meditate I will guide you together we will go beyond the physical and into the spiritual realm hmm I will okay. guard you as you make your journey to Grethel. Fight with honor. Good luck. Grethel. Oh dear. Grethel is where the dishonorable go. Listen. Hear the call of our ancestors. Heed the voices of those who have gone before. I feel strange. It is to be expected. Steal yourself. We are going to the darkest place a Klingon can go. The depths of Grethel. Then we must stop Molor and his hordes before they come forth to raise the land of the living. I feel my spirit departing. Warrior, heed me now. The time has come. Last. Go boldly, fear nothing, and prepare yourself for the descent. Prepare for the final steps of your journey to Grethel. Ooh. I am ready, Kathleth. Lead the way. Ready your weapon. The ferryman approaches. His mood is foul indeed. He may seek a toll, paid in blood. Show him who you are. Show him that you are Klingon. This is a place for the dead. Leave now or you will join them. Appreciated, very man. I will take you to Grethel. It is not a quick voyage, however. If you want to get there faster, you'll need to convince the rulers to put their backs into it. Very well, I will find a way to motivate the rowers. It is 
Sejan, son of Tork. Ah. We killed him. So, it's you. The filthy Tarkan could have the treacherous attack on my house. And yes, you are punishing for your dishonorable acts. Perhaps there is some justice in the galaxy after all. Unlike you, I can leave this place, Patak. A lie! No one can leave this place, least of all a Kutal like you. Tell me, how did you die? Did my father kill you? I was in one of Patal's ally. If only I could have seen you fall, and the glory that came to House Thor when my father's vision was realized. Idiot, your father failed, your house is no more. I'm gonna regret that. You lie! My father was a great warrior! Far greater than you! Our war for his monstrous son! I will not take this from you, Tarkan! I have all eternity to kill you! You! It seems my suffering is to begin early. Now I suppose there is cold comfort in knowing we are both prisoners now. Your dishonor brought you here, remember that? Somebody else we killed? Well, what brought me here was a barrage of fire from your vessel. I should have fed you to the Jackal Masters when I had the chance. Perhaps I can find something to feed you to when we reach Grapple. If the hordes of uh, Fekir don't, uh, oh, sorry, the hordes of the Fekir don't devour you first, Warden. Arrogant corrupt! I will throw you overboard and feed you to the Koskari. Oh, he was my captain who I killed at the beginning. This is good. This would have been your fate no matter how long you lived. Save your pity for someone who finds value in it. Or be gone! Leave me to my misery! Join us and remember that what it is to be Klingon. To be free. I accept your challenge. I will prove myself to you. Just to see the look on your face when I do! So... One of those of the great stones of the spine. Come forth, then. Bring that spine of yours into battle. Then I need break it like a twig. We'll see who's uh, broken, Tucker. Your impudent brush. Soon you will earn the price of the fires. Your suffering will begin long before you reach the halls of Krathor. Enough talk, fight. Glorious! Such is the fate of all Fakiri, who challenge a true Klingon warrior. And behold, we approach our destination, where our greatest challenge awaits. Are you ready, my friend? Shall we storm the gates of Grethor? Yes. Let us go to Grethor now. Do you see? 
the Lord of Gethel has sent a horde of Fakiri to block your entry. You will have to fight to walk through those gates. Go! Show them what you are made out. Earn glory for you and your house. Ready weapons. Attack. supposed to be doing here. Oh, right. Right, yes. Okay, enter the gates of Grethel. Fortress of the Damned, where the Fallen are brought into the service of Lord Feklar. Recall the Ferryman's warning. Expect to meet three champions of evil, cowardice, dishonor, and treachery. <laughs> I look forward to crushing them with you in glorious battle. Can't let them come. I welcome the challenge. Go. We'll open the gates. Perhaps that spectre can offer guidance. Everyone is fought. Speak to the spectre of treachery. So, another warrior has come to challenge Grethel in hopes of resting honor from the dead. There is no honor here, Beaster, and no escape. Not without a price. What price? I am here for battle, not haggling. This is the spectre of treachery, an avatar of lies and deceit. The blade in the back, promise never kept. Be careful in your dealings with it. If it's so treachery, why should I listen to you? I reside in this place. Ah, no, it's ways. Without my help, you will be lost here. Or return to the land of the living. In either case, you will fail. You will never succeed in your goal. 
but I will help you if you will help me. Perhaps I shall speak. Not far from here, you will find two other spectres. Dishonor and cowardice. I grow tired of their wailing and their schemes. Destroy them, hunt them, and defeat them in battle. Do so, and I will show them the way forward to you. If they challenge me, I will end them. To one side, you will find the steps that descend to this hour. The lower steps to which a king I may sink. To the other, the maze of cowards, in which warriors become lost. Go! Hunt and destroy those spectres! And we shall have a bar. I will destroy them, and then I will return for you. Okay. Open the doors. going to regret closing that door, aren't I? people fighting. I'm 
refuse to believe that that is the end of it. Powerless is banished. Now we must find and defeat Dishonor. Okay, we have cleared it. That's far more than I thought. I thought far sooner than I was expecting. I have to clear through all of the minions first. Okay. Okay, dishonor. Expect some treachery here. I am a failure, and I am a regret. I am the challenge not given. I am the falsehood that drips from your tongue like poisoned honey. I am the insult accepted without response, and the warrior who dies in captivity. I am dishonor. Know me, and surrender your spirit to despair. Face me like a true warrior, or experience beige. Beige, eh? Cannot harm him. He has no honor. His might comes from those he torments within this chamber. Free his captives. Without their power, dishonor will be vulnerable to defeat. Then the damned may have their revenge. Challenge dishonor. Cannot harm him. He has no honor. His might comes from those. He torments within this chamber. Free his captains. Without their power, dishonor will be vulnerable to defeat. Then, the damned may have their revenge. There, without his prisoners, his hold is weakening. Defeat him. He cannot harm him. He has no honor. His uh, might keep comes going. from those he torments within this chamber. Free his captives. Without their power, dishonor will be vulnerable to defeat. Then the damned may have their revenge. All right. Where is he? Do it. Still seems to be fighting going on. With the spectres of cowardice and dishonor defeated, we must return and deal with treachery. Are you ready for the sudden but inevitable betrayal? Curse your sudden and inevitable betrayal. He will fall like the others. First of all, we are going to do the looting. Some of this is rubbish, some of it is stuff that we can use to do other things, and some of it actually might be good. Confront treachery. Been dispatched, and I stand alone. 
I suppose it is time for me to uphold my end of the bargain. But you're not going to, are you? I'm afraid not. By the look on your face, I wager that you were expecting this outcome. I mean, it's not like I only have a tar of honesty, is it? Come on, then. Let us be done with it. Only one of us will move on from here, and then I must say. I don't like your chances. Your time is at an end. Now shut up and fight. Defeated! Now all that lies before us is the final challenge. The last enemy. The one you came here to face. I know him well, for he vexed me greatly so many years ago. He is my greatest rival, my deadliest foe. Mola. Indeed. I thought myself rid of him when I buried my mighty blade deep in his chest. And yet, his evil remains within this place. Come, friend. Once more, let us go into glorious battle together. Let us be the end of Molo. No foe can stand against us, my Emperor. Kupla! Right. Nope, there's no loot. Looks like you need to um, repair your shield there, uh, Kethlet. Thing on them. Open the doors. There is Molo, and he's got just two. And so come at come last. last into these halls you march, scattering the tracks of the afterlife, leaving them broken in your wake. You are strong indeed. Have my hated nemesis at your side, but it will not be enough. For here, here I am superior. There will be no victory for you here. You are deluded, braggart. Am I? Even now, my fury spread chaos and death throughout the stars. Soon there will be an ocean of the blood. And there will be nothing to stop me from returning to the land of the living. If that feckless clone can walk the sacred ground of Kronos again, so too shall Molo! Unlikely. Now, as in ancient times, you are unworthy. Bold words, but hollow. Soon it will be Kalos who will dwell here for eternity. Here he shall burn. While well, I sack and pillage his pathetic empire. <laughs> but he will not suffer alone. You too will dwell within these halls with your beloved Emperor. Two lost souls screaming into the void. While I, Molo, shall reign supreme for a thousand years. A thousand years, eh?
thousand years. Not as long as I draw breath. Face me, Mola. Let's end this. from the Lord of Grethel, fool? Revel, at last it is done. Molor has been defeated once more. Sure and without him, the Fakiri will slink back into the darkest corners of the galaxy. Right, the passage that seemed to be missing is Revel while you can, Worm, for one day I will rule Grethel. I will aim to, uh, open the gates wide and send every misbegotten soul uh, within the uh, to lay waste to the Klingon Empire, so strays more and then we got the cake left it. Right. Sorry, uh, can you see that? Yes, you can see that. Just put that away again. Now, for now at least, the Fakiri will stick back into the darkness of the galaxy. For now at least. Yes, and if they should ever return to offer challenge, let us hope that warriors of the Empire, such as we, stand ready to vanquish them once again. Come, warrior. The time has come to return to Borath. Time to Borath. Okay, so... Talk to the monk. It is as we have foreseen. The Fakiri are defeated, and it will be some time before they return. But what really happened here? Tell me everything. That is a matter of perspective. To Kagran, a foul enemy invaded this sacred place, and with great effort, they were defeated. For you, for Kylos, a great journey, battles worthy of song and legend. Was it real? Was it a dream? Who is to say? In the end, Boris is secure once again. Do you always speak in riddles? Time is a riddle. If my answers are unclear, it is because this matter is as much myth and symbol as it is flesh and blood. Know this. You have done well. You have saved the Empire from the Fikiri side by side with the Emperor. Indeed. Your counsel is appreciated, Kenneth. Talk to Captain Kagran. You look like a warrior with a tale to tell. I look forward to hearing it soon. 
over some blood wine. Great deeds, great songs, my friend. Ah, you'll be happy to know that the demons have quit the field. The monastery is secure once more. Kapla, a great victory, Kagren. Kapla, I see the change in your heart. You have faced the champions of Grethor and lived to tell the tale. With your guidance, my emperor. <laughs> Guidance is but the beginning in battle. Knowing how to follow it, to use it to claim victory, that is the mark of a true warrior. I see that in you. Truly, you are one of the greatest warriors of your age. You honor me, Kaithless. Ready to leave on your orders, Captain. Down to the ship. Speak with Jumpok. You have done much for the Empire this day. You fought at the sight of the Emperor himself and defeated one of our greatest enemies. Honor to you and your house, warrior. As for the Fakiri, we have much to learn about them. Know that I have tasked some of our greatest minds with solving the riddle of these so-called demons. They may strike again, and the Empire must be ready. Ah, but there is one thing we do know. They can be defeated. Should they crawl forth from whatever pit they dwell in to attack us again, I will call on you to meet them in glorious battle. Kapla! Right, okay. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. 